hello, hello. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Um, so as you can see, I found this guy in the desert. Um, and so I've been kind of playing around with this. I didn't know you could actually interact with the pets, so I was kind of disappointed, like, to figure that out later. Um, and it was just by experiment, because I was like, oh, I'm just gonna sleep on the bed and I'm gonna see what happens. And, uh, this is what happens. I guess if you play with this guy too long, he, like, freaks out and he'll shoot, like, a thousand needles all over the place. Yeah, like that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, anyways, I just, I was doing that randomly. Anyways, so as you can see, we have done some grinding. Um, I mostly have all the Rathian gear, because when I was going to hunt... Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, when I was actually going to go hunt some more bear off because I wanted the bear off material, um, I ended up running into Rathian again, and I kind of just took it upon myself, and I was like, you know, I bet you I could beat Rathian, so... Um, I killed quite a few Rathian, unfortunately, for the boots, which I'm not wearing those, I'm wearing the Gaja boots. Um, unfortunately, when it comes to the boots, it requires Rathian plate. And I just, you know, like I said, I don't really have the luck that uh, would cause that to drop. So, um, I've not gotten the chance to make my Rathian boots. So, there's that, I guess. Um... So, I know that we're supposed to go to the Wild Spire Waste immediately, according to the guy. But I do want to take some time to talk to some of these people, see if they got some optional quests for me. I want us to do some optional quests today. The man you saw used to be with the First Fleet. He was the Commission's only Wyverian Wy hunter. Truth is, he's essential to our mission here, but some time ago we lost track of the fellow. One moment he said he'd discovered the secrets of this continent, and the next he's gone. I tried to go with him, but he wouldn't have it. You're the first to have seen him since. Part of me is furious with him for leaving, but honestly, now, I'm just glad to hear he's okay. If he said not to worry, then I won't worry. He'll return to us when he's good and ready. Thanks for the heartening news. I mean it. Okay, but I still don't know his name. Um, I do know, know that in Monster Hunter lore, Wavirian hunters are actually really rare. They were originally the first hunters, but then they kind of just stepped aside and let humans do it, and I don't understand why, but that's just something that happened. Splendid, the fifth fleet, just who I was looking for. At present, we at the Research Commission Survey and Capture Squad, are the go-getters for short, are studying the Kulu Yaku's behavior. We are hoping to capture one alive, accustom the scout flies to its unique characteristics, and then release it. That will allow us to track the monster and uncover its mode of life, and there's nothing in this world I desire more than that right now. Hence my decision to request help from the fifth. I would like you to perform the capture for us. The quest is called Snatch the Snatcher. Any assistance you could give would be the most appreciated. So, I did capture one Rathian because someone brought it up. Um, I was actually able to craft traps. Let me see if they now sell them. I was finally able to craft traps, um, but I've only been able to make the shock traps. Um, which is just, like I said, disheartening. But it is what it is. Okay, well this is nice. I can at least buy, like, a bunch. Yeah, why not? Um, but if I could just, like, actually just buy the actual traps themselves, that'd be really helpful, but no. That's not allowed, is it? Um, so I have captured a few monsters in order to try and get better materials. It is kind of a pain, though. Um, I do like Rise's system of, like, putting, like, a little symbol next to them. Um, so that I know when to capture them. So, there is that. Yeah, see, so I can only, can only really make, um, shock traps. I don't want this. However, uh, no. However, I do want this. Yes. And you can only carry one at a time, which is why I need the pitfall trap. Um... So, that'll be on my list to do. I did finally find an adamant seed though, seed, though, so hopefully I can work on getting some armor skins. Um, armor skins and demon drugs are your best friend. Which is crazy, because when I was um, playing on Rise on the Switch, I honestly didn't use them until Sunbreak, but then playing it on the PC, I'm suddenly having to... Uh, suddenly having to use them a lot more. And I think it's just because, like, on PC I chose to be Longzort instead of uh, Instant Glaive main. Maybe that's not the case, but that's what I feel is happening. But yeah, I'm missing some Trank Bombs because of that. Um, obviously. 
demon drug, hard shell powder, armor skin. Oh, but I don't have any catalysts. What are you? Okay, so yeah, I want to make as much catalyst as possible. Sure. And an adamant pill. Okay. Cool. Uh, that used all my catalyst? Oh, now I can make a pitfall trap. What do I need? I need lots of nets. And can you believe I just now found ivy for the first time ever, which is crazy to me. Okay, so now we have that. I should have handled all this beforehand, but I can't help it. I kind of get, like, lost in the sauce sometimes. Alright, so... I do want one of these. I'm gonna take one of those. And then we're gonna go over here, we're gonna sort our items. Alright, so we should be good for right now. I haven't really needed the armor skin too much. We'll see if that changes and then I'll just put it in my inventory. Yeah, I know, Gramps. But the thing is, is I wanna do optional quests. I wanna talk to people. Um. Also, if I sound stuffy, I'm, I apologize. I was playing with my dogs. They're kind of dusty, and it caused me to have a sneezing fit. Of course, right before I freaking, you know, had to do stuff. Oh boy, those scholars got separated from his escort and hasn't returned from the wildspire waste. Now we need to go look for him. I'm sure he's at least left us some footprints. I really hope that's all he left us. Hmm. So, let us see here. Alright, so obviously we're assigned to go look for the sinister shadows in the swamp. Huh. I'm not really sure what's going to be in the swamp. So we can either do that, but we do have all these optional quests. I know that I've been completing some of them. Snatch the Snatcher. I guess we don't really have as many as I thought, so... I know we have a ton of investigations, but I don't want to do those right now. So I guess we are just going to have to go do this story. <sighs> Obviously there's only one here. I'm not going to set a passcode. I don't really know what the vouchers are for. Um, I keep seeing that and I know I have a lot of them, but I like it. Like I said, again, I don't know what that is. I only have one, obviously, for this, but let's see here. And the thing is, is like I know I should probably be customizing my platters, but I don't really see the point of doing that right now since I'm so early in the game. So, all right, time to leave on our quest. I do feel like meals are, like, useful, but I don't feel like they're as substantial in this game. Like, at least not yet. I know it'll be important later, but right now they just feel so okay. weird. Yeah, it's possible. Okay. So there's Baroth in the area. I know we only have a certain amount of time, so I'm not gonna fuck around too, too much. Um... I hope we run across his trail soon. But I'm not really sure... Also, I need to get a firm, like, grip on what ivy looks like, because I know ivy's still a green plant, but... Yeah, I, I need to know, like, for certain what it is supposed to look like so that I can find it easier. So I need to like pick it out of the crowd. Alright. It must be the scholar's trail. So with that in mind, do we do this and go from there or I don't understand. So these were his footprints, right? Should I have paid attention to what direction he went, or... Or what? Or am I just, like, blindly walking through this? Don't battle each other, please. I'm, like, literally right behind you. So they did say he was in the swamps. So I don't really... Huh? Wait, what's that there? I don't know. You... Keep wait, wait! What's going on with the scout flies? What shoots thorns like that? Hmm, it's not Toby Kadachi. It wouldn't be. 
So it's not Toby Kadachi. Um, I don't think it would be. Would it be Radovan? No, it's not Radovan. Is it Radovan? Hey guys. Will one of you follow me? Um. It'll help with our investigation. Cool. Awesome. Um. So we're still hunting for the mysterious one, yes? Is this gonna help us any? Or no? Um, what else? I'm trying to think. What else has spikes like that? It wouldn't be in a Muldron. That wouldn't make any sense. Um. Hmm. Trying to think. Trying to think. Oh. Hmm. I was about to say, it looked like he went this way, so I'm actually just following the footprints. So. Hopefully it's not leading me back to where that tree was. I had that issue with fighting a Rathalos, where I was like following the trail as it designated me to follow, and it literally left me back to where I'd cut off, um... Oh. Where I'd literally like cut off his tail is where it led me back to. Which was silly. See, why didn't I have all those footprints before? Why are they just showing up now? Or did I just completely miss them and they didn't trigger? <sighs> I love this scouting. Like, I love the way that it works. I like the idea behind it. Just because I always really did. Oh, there's more of those spikies. Yep, I'm just gonna sniff this man's book. Hold on, dear. Let me just sniff this. Ah, paperback. Leather bound. Delicious. Hmm. Okay, the thing is, is I really want to track more of this, but... Ah, oh, this way. I'm gonna do my own investigation. So he was being chased by something that shoots thorns. Thing is, is like I can think of monsters, but yet nothing really is like coming to mind. Like a is that the scholar? What's that he's sitting next to? It looks like a, a bear -off? Yeah, it does look like a bear off, but what hit the bear off? Juratotus, that didn't kill the Baroth. It was a. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh. Gyratotus. I've never heard its name said aloud. Um, so that's kind of funny. So it won't even let me swing my sword. Whoa. Get all this muck. So I essentially gotta, like, get out of the muck. the hip checks. What are you, a Plesioth? I don't appreciate that. Come here, jerk. What, you too scared? Huh? You too scared? 
you too scared to handle me? Jerk. Yeah, I'll soften you up a little bit. I cannot stand, um, like, what are they called? Piscine wyverns? Cannot stand them. Like, just very annoying. Like, just, just a pain in the butt. Pain in a butt to fight. Make, especially when they're in water. So, like, Gyordidus in itself was something that literally... Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Was literally something that, you know, didn't even freaking, like... It was an urgent quest, like, later on. And I feel like that is for good reason. Because it is a pain. I mean, I'm glad that I did all this, like, grinding for better gear, because, like, this fight, I already know, like, would not be fun. It's just not fun at all. I'm surprised we already got material off of him, though, considering I'm just using an iron katana. But honestly, right now, like, I'm already in the yellows. Like, I'm already in the yellows with this weapon, but I really would like something that's, like, better elementally. I don't like you. Like, Pookie Pookie and Kuyaku, like, yeah, those are entry-level monsters. That, to me, makes sense. For some odd reason, this just seems like, man, they really hate you, you know? to have you fight something like this so early. Like I said, it could be worse. It could be a nibble smart or something. Which, I had just posted on my community page today that I actually, um, I actually, uh, bought a capture card. And so, with that in mind, I might be able to start, um, doing some footage from, like, my Switch. Which I have a ton of games on the Switch. Um, that I could play. Thing is, is I want to be, like, picky, I guess, is the word that I'm looking for here. But I was just thinking about all the games that I love, like, all the games that I've played in the past, um, especially like, you know, Pokemon or Voice of Cards or things like that, so, um, I guess just thinking about that, I was just like, man, this opens up so many more, like, opportunities for me, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah, track the monster. One thing I've been really enjoying about this game is catching all the endemic life. I definitely am, like, a creature collector. Like, as far as, like, video games and stuff goes. So I can't even say, like, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I'm not. Ew, you're sticky mud. Good, it's about time you notice me. What I want to know is what the big bad is going to be, because obviously, like, it wasn't Jordidus that killed the bear off. It doesn't even have spikes. So, like, my whole question is, is what's the big bad here? I know I could take this thing down with, like, more grappler moves. But I feel like that just does not do as much as I would like it to. I mean, I suppose I could capture this Chayordinus, but I really just don't want to. I don't really see myself using the parts of that much. I feel like this thing is damn near already nearly dead. Must be, right? I mean, it's beaten up. Like, big bad. Ugh. Get out of there. 
get out of the muck. Oh yeah, so in my off time I was doing what everybody said. I don't have the stuff to establish, establish the base camps I've been finding, um, which is unfortunate because I need an Anjanath plate and I have not faced Anjanath yet. Um, but I was going around making friends with the Grimalkins, um, the Lanayans or whatever you want to call them. Um, so that was something I was doing. But yeah, that was something that I was doing, and it has been nice because obviously it allows us to, or it allows me to use them as followers instead, which is very helpful. I mean, it's great that it blind him. However, muck. Sit the fuck down, sir. I don't want none of your nonsense. You might want to focus on, you know, getting your vision back and all that, yeah? But yeah, I think my Palico is like now up to like level 10 or whatever. Um, it's been pretty, pretty fun, pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to take everybody's, um, advice and, um, just trying to get everything done. I hate how much I have to use my whetstone. Like, goodness gracious. No, I don't need your sticky mud. I don't want your sticky mud. I don't care about your sticky mud. I want to be able to rely solely on the scouting, but just looking at the minimap is just more convenient, honestly. I know that I should just do this just so that it doesn't freaking... So that there's no confusion later, because it'll do that. It'll be like, oh hey, there's this mysterious substance. What monster could this be? And it's like, dude, I already fought it. That's what it was doing with Rathian. It kept listing Rathian as like an unknown monster. And I'm like, dude, I've killed this thing like three times. And you keep telling me it's unknown. And it's not unknown. There's nothing unknown about it. So, like, the scouting thing's really cool, and I do love it when I can discover a new monster. But at the same time, like, it's so frustrating, too. Because it's like, there's this mysterious monster you've never seen before. And I'm like, I bet you I have seen it, though. Like, that's the bad part, is I bet you I have seen it. Ooh! <laughs> right on the fucking noggin. Phew! Well, yeah, they're, because they're not from a Jiordidus, and they literally took out a Baroth, which has stone, like, skin. So, um... Yeah, I would be worried too. Oh, look at the little leaf boat. There's my cat, just so bougie with his little floaty, and then you just got this this cutie patootie just in his little leaf boat. What's this? I don't know. It's some sort of thing that my cat put down. <clears throat> That's the only thing is... You know, my cat will put down stuff in the water and then I can't even see what it is, so how am I supposed to utilize it if I don't even know what it is? That is the question. I'm not even gonna bother with that sticky mud. Also, some people have told me that their hunters will, like, sigh and stuff and will make noise, but mine doesn't, and I feel like it's because of the voice I, cho I chose. And maybe it just doesn't have, like, a translat translation for this version or something. I don't know. So yeah, Orion's at level 10, um, my gadget proficiency is 6, as you can see I can use the bug trappers, um, you can now change your Kinsex element, interesting. I thought about going Insect Glaive, I thought about uh, just trying it in this Gather version. Around, everyone. We're ready to begin. Thanks to you, we've made great strides towards understanding the tracks that have turned up across the continent. Our researchers have done some projections. Now, we know where Zor
Dora Magdaros will go next. It's heading for the Great Ravine. The Great Ravine? The huge valley out past the Wildspire? Correct. So I have a proposition for all of you. I say we try and capture Zora once it gets there. Have you gone mad? Capture it? Hear me out. The ravine is the perfect terrain for staging such an event. We're not going to get a better chance than this. Why? If we don't take this opportunity, it could be a decade before the next opportunity presents itself. Maybe longer. Is it even possible? If I said it wasn't, would that stop you? Let's give it a go. With the fifth supporting us, our chances are as good as ever. Then it's settled. Before we send the hunters out for the capture, we need to secure Astera. An Anjanath has been active in the area. He's not the kind of monster you toy around with. We'll need a plan for him. You're right. Hunters, you have your next assignment. Take care of that Anjanath. But be careful. The Anjanath is a fearsome monster. One slip up, and you're done. Commander, if I may, I think I have a great idea. Hunter, I could use your help. Drop by later, if you will. Another thing, that troubling report we received. Think you could break. Who the hell is that? Good then. Let's get this show on the road. We have an elder dragon to capture. Everyone dismissed. But everybody knows you can't capture elder dragons, so it's not possible. That's like Monster Hunter 101. Listen to what the chief botanist has to say before we do anything else. You're not the huntsman. I think you're nuts. Just so you know, this capture operation isn't some cuckoo scheme I hatched yesterday. The trick was waiting for the right conditions. A successful crossing, an easy elder dragon to spot, a good team, and of course luck. I've been considering it as an option ever since we got here, and now is the right time. Good for you, I guess. I still think you're bad shit. But who are you? I may be away for a spell. Watch over Astera. You know, uh, nice Raffian blade. But also, who are you? Whatever. So first we gotta go talk to the botanist. But no, I don't I don't trust this plan. I think this plan is like fucking crazy, so. So are we capturing an elder dragon now? This is gonna be a major headache. Okay, tell me what you found. I've also been doing a lot of these bounties. I still think that they're it's weird that that they're called bounties, but Arch Monster Hunt. Okay. Anywho. However, the Anjanath plate is necessary for the next camp, so it is what it is. Hopefully this dude doesn't tell me to capture the Anjanath, but knowing my luck, maybe. Oh my, Anjanath is one nasty monster. You better make sure you go in doubly prepared. Now down to business. There's a reason I called you over this. We're having a slight problem here in the botanical research, and we need your skills dealing with it. You see, we're trying to develop some tools, specialized tools for hunters, to be exact. Something we'd like to make standard issue. But a Topikadachi in the forest has been thwarting all of our attempts to collect the materials we need. Do take care of it, won't you? Here, take this. This is the first tool we've managed to complete. I hope you find it useful. There's more where that one came from. But only if you can take care of our little problem. Thank you and good luck. The Gilly Mantle. Okay, so... Yeah, specialized tools refer to clothing and equipment that grants you useful skills. For example, the Gilly Mantle will temporarily prevent monsters from being able to see you. Specialized tools must be equipped and then used as items for their effects to be activated. They can be used an unlimited number of times and have a cooldown time after each use. You can check the effects of any specialized tool from the equipment menu. So people were mentioning this. They mentioned that mantles... But yeah, people were mentioning how the mantles are very, very important. So I guess there's quite a few that I could use. And so people were saying, do the optional quest, make sure that you do the optional quest to unlock all those goodies. Oh yeah. And I gotta remember to put my items away. The only thing is, is I wish there was a way to like send all my items to box. And so far I really haven't found one. And I'm almost out of inventory room as well, so I don't know how I'm supposed to get more box space. 
and that's kind of been worrying me as well. Because <laughs> we're because we're nearly into the second pocket, and I don't even make like ammo, so like naturally, I could sell some stuff. You know, it's not like that big of a deal. But at the same time, like, I am an item hoarder. So the more stuff I have, the better. Alright, so the next one's gonna be Toby Gadachi. I don't remember what this armor gives me, but I don't really have anything else. And I don't wanna I don't wanna go down to bear off armor, so. Alright, Chica, what do you gotta say for yourself since all you like to do is talk to me? Oh yeah. If we hunt that Toby Kodachi, we can supply all our hunters with specialized tools like the Gilly Mantle. It'll make life out in the field much easier. The more toys, tools, whatever, the better. You can take it for a spin when we go out on our next hunt. I'm sure it'll be useful, but you gotta get used to it first. Okay. So I guess we are going after Toby Kodachi. Alright, and then of course we gotta make sure that we eat. Pay with points. So let me see here. Attack up, feline polisher, feline acrobat, feline defender. That'd be really good. Elemental resistance up. That could be good. I mean, try it. Do they still drop meat on there? They do! I was really hoping that based on what you order, they like, serve you something else. But I guess they don't. Because I've seen some other videos of, like, what they cook. So there's, like, a way to get them to cook a different dish. Alright, and it didn't give me anything extra, so we're fucked. <laughs> oh well. I really do like Toby Godachi as a monster, but I am so worried <laughs> to see what he's like. Oh boy. Plus there's Anjanath and Rathalos out here. A poison knife. In order to use one of your specialized tools, you'll need to equip it from the item box. They're used just like any regular item, but their effects only last for a limited amount of time. Okay. If the tool you're using stops working, don't worry. It'll recharge after a while. Okay, but... I need to find tracks of Toby Kodachi. So, um, where the hell am I supposed to look? <laughs> it's the only thing I'm really confused about. So, like, say that you do start a mission like this, right? Where are you supposed to go? Like, I could obviously trace the Anjanath, I could chase the Great Jagras. But you're making me look for signs of a monster that I've not even found, and I don't even know their territory. Okay, so here we go. So this will help, because now this is pointed, pinpointed the Toby Gadachi. So at least they make it simple, but I was just wondering, because I'm like, you, this is a large map. Like, this is something that you could easily just, you know, get lost in. No, I don't want needleberries. Follow the trail, follow the trail. I don't have my protectors this time though. Hmm? Wake up. Oh man, I had to climb this massive tree to fight a Rathalos. And it was a pain in the ass pain in the ass, because this map can get so confusing. Not even going to lie. I do hate the fact that it does, it still takes control of my, my camera, when clearly I'm, I, I feel like I am able and capable to follow the trail on my own, especially when there's giant glowing bugs. But clearly this game doesn't think so, because it keeps taking control Once of my shit. Specialized tools effect has expired, unequip it. After it recharges, you can use it again. It unequipped itself, so what do you want me to do about that, huh? For a minute I thought that was a staircase. Level up. 
And yes, I'm stopping for all the footprints because the thing is, is the more I level this up, the easier the monster is going to be able to f be found in the future. Ooh. Cutscene already, huh? Aw, pretty feather. Ooh. Ooh. You are shedding like mad, my dude. Toby Gadachi. I think Toby Gadachi is a very cool design. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I think he's got a, a really good design, but... And I think he is a pretty good, like, entry-level monster. I was worried we really would have to fight Anjanath, though. Because... Um... Because, um... A lot of people say that Anjanath is, like, their wall monster. Like... That's the one that everybody has, like, issues with. Ouch. Come up here, come on. Come back in the open. placement. Yeah, yeah, okay. <sighs> okay. Not that I really wanted to hide from it, but I am trying to follow the tutorials. I mean, I'm trying not to be, like, a spoil sport about it. <laughs> you know, even though I'm like, no, screw hiding. I'm already in the middle of fighting a monster. I should have just healed and just called it a day, but I decided not to. That's my fault. That's the thing, like, I try not to get, like, upset with, you know, games. Especially when something- Oh, hi! It's clearly my fault. You suck. stunned super easy because this game is very weird about that sort of thing. So... I feel like this game wants me to freaking like... Hmm. Nope, get up. Get up. Get up. And it's like, wiggle the left stick. I feel like that doesn't even do anything. I mean, I'm just being honest. I feel like it's a joke. Oh, uh, that is definitely a joke. Always keep them guessing, I guess. Man, these angles. Not great. Not great at all. Come here. I just want more, like, piercing ammo or whatever so that I can, like, do some good here. Oh, this is rough. Also, like I said, the sharpness is a killer. Killer. Okay, so... I mean, obviously, for the billionth time, I'm gonna have to do this. Okay. So, now that we've established that. Ooh, honey. We like honey. What I want is ivy, though. 
I want to find Ivy again so that I can see the distinct difference between that. Alright, he's taken off. Let's nip up here. Listen. So I know that if you hit them into a wall, right? I know that if you do that, then they'll take like hundreds of damage. Or at least they're supposed to, per the example by the optional quests, right? So like, I get that. Um, but I have yet to really be able to pull that off outside of the train. I don't know if this is just because I'm bad at it or what. thing with Toby Gadachi is how fast he is, which can be absolutely fucking ridiculous. Killing mantle can now be used. Why would I use the killing mantle? So fast. You're so fast. I don't even feel like he's really getting that tired, dude. Okay. Come on. Work faster. Thank you. I do feel like everything in this game is really slow, and that is something that somebody told me. They basically said, be ready for everything just to feel very slow. And I've been told that by multiple people. Uh, mostly I was told on Reddit that I was going to hate this game because of how slow it felt. And the thing is, I don't hate it. But it really does feel like there's such a delayed reaction. I'm like pressing every button under the sun wanting to get something done. And it's just like everything is taking forever. So it can be kind of frustrating, especially when, you know, you're struggling. Um, especially in like a fight or something and you're trying to press your items... And I always wondered why people weren't like healing. I would sit, I'd be sit there watching people play World, and I'd be like, "Dude, just just heal yourself. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, what is the big issue here?" And I like, I could not understand it for the life of me. Like, what was going on? And then finally, I realized, like, oh, it's because this game like does not let you do anything. It hates people. <laughs> tired. So maybe. No, I want to run them into the thing. There we go.
like he hasn't really powered up much. I don't know. Stop interrupting my my sheath attacks, you big old bully. Come here. I mean, I probably shouldn't have gotten him in a quarter like this, but at the same time, I'm like, oh well. Who are you trying to scare, bro? Is it me? Are you trying to scare me? Oh, I just shot him in the face with a claw and he died. <laughs> How embarrassing. That's kind of weird. I was hoping for like a, you know, I could run him into a wall, turn him around, you know, I don't know, do something important, but no. He, he died by a, by a claw to the eyeball. How, how sad. How sad for Toby Kadachi. I wonder if this is, I think this is the game with Odegaron. If so, that's actually kind of exciting because I've never fought an Odegaron. I feel like it's just like a very diseased, like, Toby Kadachi. So, I don't know. Probably should be doing something useful, like, I don't know, finding Ivy or something, since that's what I was literally trying to do. Since I can't, like, actually find it, like, 90% of the time. Are you Ivy? Are you Ivy? Are you? I already have blue mushrooms to the max. Are you Ivy? I do love the sunsets in this game. The sunsets are gorgeous. This whole game is like really, really pretty. So I'm super excited for Wilds because of how pretty this game is. Also, I haven't even played online yet. Um, I had thought about it, but then somebody, you know, had commented basically saying that I was going to like essentially ruin my experience if I did that. So I have been playing solo, uh, much of a grind as it's been. You're just the awesomest. The awesomest. He is a weirdo. <laughs> oh, my dear hunter, I could kiss you. Please don't. Thanks to you, all hunters will get to enjoy the benefits of our specialized tools. Ah, oh, which reminds me, I planted an ancient tree seed, mostly out of curiosity, but, I, but believe it or not, this time it sprouted. They are quite peculiar in that they draw from the surrounding life to grow, and perhaps a little fertilizer. I'll spare you the details. What I'm trying to get at is, are there items that you use heavily? Perhaps I could leverage the tree's properties, and a little fertilizer, to grow more of what you need. Just ask and you shall receive. So is- the fifth. Come see me. Got an urgent quest. Hmm. So is this, like, the farm? Okay. So it is like a farm. So I wonder if we'll eventually get one for, like, ore and stuff, too. Happy to see you around these parts. You've seen our ancient tree before, haven't you? Just when I thought it was a little sprout, it grew into this giant tree in the blink of an eye. And now we're ready for a little research. You want to get your hands on more items, right? We'll use this ancient tree to help us cultivate even more items for you to use. What is it that you needed again? They can make plants, mushrooms, insects, produce more of them. Okay. You can use research points to increase the amount of items produced. As the facility level increases, you'll be able to grow more types of items at once. Expanding harvest box means that you blah 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 blah. Unlocky fertilizers raises the facility. Okay. Sure. So I want to cultivate. No, it won't let me do ivy. Okay. Well, I want to cultivate honey. Honey's gonna be needed because herbs are just really easy to come by. I was hoping to get ivy, but guess that's just not how it's gonna happen. Um, fertilizer, summoner jelly. Boost your honey or harvests. Sure. Okay, we'll we'll do that. We'll see how that goes. Let me see you. Oh my, it's finally sprouted, which means our ancient tree research can really start to flourish. I couldn't wait a moment. I set up a quest right away. Would you mind signing up for a prickly predicament? We're trying to determine how we can increase the types of fruits and berries the tree produces. But we need lots of plant samples to do it, and you look like some like you need some relaxing botany work. Deliver twenty bottle cactuses. Okie dokie. 
All right, let's see what this urgent quest is. Let me see. All right. Hey, welcome back. We've almost finished securing the base. Only one thing left to do. That's right, your old buddy Anjanath. Before we attempt to capture Zora Magdaros, we need to hunt that Anjanath down. Can't have it interfering. It's one tough adversary to stay, so stay on your toes. Oh, before I forget, the chief or the chef said he'd started putting more protein into your pre-hunt meals, whatever that means. Said it should help with your hunts. Either way, drop by the canteen later and find out for yourself. Anyways, a powerful monster like Anjanath won't be easy to take down. Remember everything you've learned. This objective is urgent, meaning it should be your top priority. Use everything at your disposal and hit that brute with all you've got. Okay. okay. Time to wrap up defending the base. Are you gonna keep talking? All right. Hey. I see you've gotten your hands on some specialized tools. Different specialized tools will help out in different ways. Just don't forget to equip them. You can manage them in your equipment box, just like all your other gear. Once you're out on a quest, you can use specialized tools the same way as items. For now, the equipment all you you got is blah, 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 is all we've managed to complete. More is coming down the line. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Neato. Ooh, do you sell more items now? Is that why you have an exclamation point? Hey, buddy, I hear your next assignment is to hunt that big brute and er, in the ancient forest, eh? No better time to stock up. Yay, new products. What do you need? Let me see. Ooh, arowana bait. But I haven't really done much fishing. I know that there's a fishing side quest I need to do, but... Okay, so just a bunch of ammo and some arowana bait. Still not great. Not terrible. Could be worse. Could be worse, could be, you know, could be better, whatever. Okay, so now that we've gotten all that done, now I can organize my stuff. All right, so we didn't even use hardly any of this stuff, really. Expected that we would use a lot more. Oh, we're in this. Oh, we have three inventory boxes now. Good. I guess as we continue to do quests, it'll increase. I was really getting worried because, like I said, I'm an item order. So, all right. So I'm probably gonna end that here since we're already at like the 15 minute 50 minute mark and we've already done some dablage. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Um, and like I said, any tips, tricks, or advice on playing Monster Hunter World, feel free to leave me a comment. Or if you just want to discuss world in general, um, I hear that, like I said, Anjanath is a very hard monster and that he's given people a lot of hell. Um, and that, that was their first real wall and like the first real grind they had to do. So I am kind of scared in fighting Anjanath for that reason. Um, so yeah, if you have any tick, uh, tips, tricks, advice, or if you just want to talk about your story with Anjanath, feel free to leave that. Uh, in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so much for your continued support, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, ciao you guys.